It's the Daily Dog. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to the Daily Dog. Thanks for hanging out with me today. So today, I, I, I'm a little nervous about this one. Uh, there were several people on the channel that pretty much just dared me to look at this one. So uh, <laughs> I have no idea what's in store for me today. The song that we're doing today is Through the Fire and Flames by a band named Dragon Force. I have no idea who Dragon Force is before uh, people have suggested this to me. And you know why? It's because I've never really played Guitar Hero. Apparently, this song is uh, included in, in a bunch of the Guitar Hero uh, video games. I am not a gamer. Uh, and I think I've played Guitar Hero like at a party once, and I was horrible at it. <laughs> Uh, when I mentioned to my friend John Frannick, John I had on the channel uh, in an interview uh, a few months ago, he, he started laughing uh, when I told him that I was going to do this song. He said because I was taking him back to his middle school years where he was like the champion guitar hero player in his class. <laughs> and he said, good luck, dude. <laughs> so... Uh, this, this band Dragon Force is from Britain and this is their most successful song. It was released in 2006 and, um, it's, I'm going to be looking to, uh, their official video on this one. So that's what we're going to be reacting to. And it, it's not a terribly long song. It's just about five minutes. So, uh, we're going to get right to it and see uh, what this is all about. I read that this is speed metal. So uh, I need I need some caffeine. This is my morning coffee. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna give it a shot. Y'all ready? Okay. Through the fire and flames, Dragon Force. Here we go. Is he supposed to be holding his guitar by just the whammy bar? I don't think that's in the owner's manual. Uh, <laughs> holy crap, y'all. Uh, that was just the first 20 seconds. Uh, I haven't recovered yet. Uh, I'm going to start again. Uh, I believe they're in C, C minor. Uh, that's about all I've gotten so far. Here they go again. I like the harpsichord sound in it, though. Cool wind in my hair. <laughs> Minor. A flat, B flat, second C minor, classic plus other one, or a four, like B one, classic, B flat, ah, relative major, E flat. The minor five, G minor, A flat, back to C, E flat. The speed is impressive. I, the singer has a lovely voice. The technical ability of the players is obvious. Uh, 
um, I couldn't play keyboard like that. I, I, I had to break my neck. It makes sense that this would be included in a video game like, like try to play this. Because I'm sorry, Dragon Force. I think this is the song's real redeeming value. This I'm not a fan. I think I reached my line. <laughs> uh, I, I wore my Snoopy shirt. Nope. How much speed did they have to take before? <laughs> before they recorded this, or even play it live. I'd love to see, I need, I need to look up them playing this live, just to make sure they can actually do this, that it wasn't just sped up in the recording process. Taking a breather, all the other guitar player shreds there. It's the drumming, I think. The tempo doesn't bother me. And the guitar solos are a little, I'm going to say annoying to my ear, um, but it's the constant just going instead of um, just the constant beratement uh, is a little overbearing to my ears. I haven't I haven't harped on very fast uh, uh, bass drum like gun like machine gun uh, bass bass drum or kick drum but I'm gonna harp on it today I just don't think it's a very musical sound. Game over. <laughs> wow. So for those of you that uh, kind of challenged me to do that one, um, thanks. Um, like I said, the, the, the speed of it is impressive. The technical prowess of it is impressive. The fact that they're playing in uh, relatively flat keys, uh, unless they tune down, uh, is also impressive. Uh, but uh, the, the singer uh, has a lovely sound. Uh, he hit, hits uh, some lovely notes. But put them all together and serve it up on a plate, I think I'm going to pick something else from the menu. That's just me. Uh, I, I don't think I've ever said that about a piece that I've uh, reviewed before or reacted to, but I, I don't think I'll uh, listen to that. Again, it's just not my cup of tea. Uh, but uh, if it's yours, cool. Uh, it it uh, it's just a little much. <laughs> it's just a little much for me. But wow, uh, I I should go back and see if I have some friends that still have Guitar Hero and and see if they can actually play it. John, if you're watching, uh, I I would love to figure out how you've figured that out and. Uh, you know, m my friend John is a concert pianist, and he's he's unbelievable. But he has these spider fingers. <laughs> if you watch him play, so uh, uh, it's not me. I have these short little stubby fingers, so I only can like barely reach a ninth on the piano. Uh, but uh, whew, Dragon Force, that that was a wake up call. I I, um, I think I'm gonna. Uh, that's enough caffeine for today. <laughs> Well, that was, I guess, fun. 
but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll try something else tomorrow. And um, <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing so much. That that just the uh, um, I'm trying to come up with adjectives to describe how I feel about that. Uh, I think it's just over the top. Um, not a fan. But uh, we'll come back and keep giving some more music, uh, some some tries. And uh, um, I can't remember what we have up tomorrow. What do we have up tomorrow? Uh, oh, y'all, um, I'm going to branch out. I'm doing a German band tomorrow. And that's about all I'm going to say about that. So uh, stay tuned for the next edition of The Daily Doug.